Hey guys, it's Paradox, and today we're going to be doing 4x4 edge pairing. Creating centers on the 4x4 is very simple, actually. Um, like in the... Um, first part of this um, series uh, we showed how to make centers uh, we're create using four of the center pieces on a 4x4 four four to create the one center that there is on a 3x3 three three. there's already the corners there's nothing to build there there's one corner like on the 3x3 three three. and then edges we're taking the two edges on a 4x4 four four and just connect pairing them up, up kind of like this to make one like kind of um, pairing edges on a 4x4 is very simple using the reduction method it's it would look like this once you were done but in the first part we built the centers to make the one center like there is on a 3x3 in this video we're gonna make the two um, edges to make the edges just like on a 3x3 the single edges on a 3x3 and the corner's already done. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, so, here's an example edge, but we're first gonna start with white. The order you would do it is white, um, non-yellow and non-white edges. So basically edges that don't have yellow or white in them. And then you would do yellow edges and yeah so where you find first you have to find the edges so here's one red edge and then let's find its counterpart or actually here's just two orange edges one here and one here and here um uh as you can see there you you first you want to put them on opposite sides so um we're just going to put this on opposite sides. And then they're on opposite sides, right? One orange edge here and one here. So these two. But if they were facing the same way, you don't want them that way. You want one to be opposite. So how you, you would do that is if they were like this, you would bring one edge down or one side with an edge down bring the other side up, turn it to the top, then the, um, then you would turn it like, uh, you would turn the front face like this, then you would bring the edge back up. And now as you can see, they're opposite. One orange and white edge here, and one orange and white edge. Then it's pretty simple. You just, um, here are the three simple moves to pair them up once you have them in the optimal position. Opposite and, well, opposite. Opposite, like both ways. They're on opposite sides of the cube, flipped. One is flipped. So, first you would just slice over to create this edge pair. Then what you would do is you would bring it to a top, to the top. Then you would turn it to bring an empty slot, a garbage slot in, like an edge that hasn't been created yet. Then you would bring it down and slice back to connect the centers and the edge is still intact. So let's say you pair up all the edges, right? <clears throat> First the white edges, the white and some other color edges, then the non-white and non-yellow edges, like green and orange, blue and red, blue and orange, red and green, stuff like that. But, and then you pair up and then you somehow end up with um, uh, two paired up yellow edges. That's not supposed to happen. <clears throat> You're only supposed to end up with one paired up yellow edge. Well, that can happen, but that's not what you want. Um, you're, you only want one uh, edge to be paired up. And, and you don't want to just have to start all over and do it all over again, right? So an easy way to fix this is, 
you put three of the yellow and some other color edges. So let me do this. So on messed up. Um, so this is a yellow and green, yellow and blue edge. Uh, we have a red and yellow edge, and then we have a uh, another blue, uh, blue and yellow, and a green and yellow edge. So one, two, three, um, um, pairs, not complete pairs, but just in general pairs of edges, or yeah, pairs of edges with yellow on the same layer and then you want on either the top or bottom layer for um the last pair of yellow edges like so we have these two um these two and these two on the on this layer and then we have this orange and yellow pair on the bottom so what you want to do is you want to pretend that you're connecting this um you want to pretend so you have this one individual white and orange edge right and you want to um have that on the back right or you can have it on the or you can have it on the back left <clears throat> but you want an the uh Ye uh, yellow edge pair to be beside it you want the yellow edge pair that's beside it to be on your left or on your right side <clears throat> so let's say it's on this is right here the white and orange pair is right there it's right here and then you want to pretend to be connecting this to this and then the last so basically you'll have two edges on the front and two you have you have two yellow edge pairs on the front and then you have one yellow edge pair on the back and one white edge pair on the back yeah and it can and the white edge pair can be either be on the right or the left on the back it doesn't matter and it does but you might just want it to just to keep it simple do it on the left for now until you understand the concept. So uh, basically what you do, enough blabbering, what you do is you pretend to be connecting this, this yellow edge pair, which is on the front of this white and orange edge pair to this, um, to another yellow edge pair. So you would do that, right? And then since this, other yellow edge pairs on the bottom layer you would just switch it out for that pretending it's a garbage edge and then you would realign it so now you have um one or you should have wait okay so you you would either you you would either have one completed yellow edge pair or or four not completed and if you have four not completed you would just put one of those edge pairs in the top layer and and you would just connect it and, and you would just connect it like regular edges so wait let me just show you so I'm going to be connecting this green and yellow edge to this other green and yellow edge. So they're opposite sides and flipped. So slice over, bring it up, put in the garbage edge, bring it down, and slice back. And now you have one completed uh, yellow edge. And then what you would do to connect... Dang it. I messed up somehow, but you should end up with only one um, yellow and green edge pair. But, but if you don't and you have uh, one 
yellow edge pair. But if you don't and you have two yellow edge pairs completed, then you would just do the same thing that I just showed you, like before this. Um, yeah. After I fix this, I'm going to show you how to complete the last three ed edge, uh, yellow edges. So, once you have one connect, uh, completed yellow edge pair, you should have three uncompleted. One, two, and then three. So, what you want to do is, you want to pretend to be connecting one edge pair. So, as I have it here, I have these two blue uh, and yellow edges. So, one here and one here. And they're opposite and flipped. You want to keep them horizontally. I mean, vertically, unlike instead of horizontally. And what you want, um, then on the top, on the top yellow edge pair, uh, you want to see which one. So there's this yellow and blue edge, right? And this other yellow and blue edge. On the top, beside the top yellow and blue edge, you want to see which other color it is. So in my case, it's green and yellow. So you want to find the other green and yellow edge. And mine is right here. And you want to have it in the same orientation as this right here on whichever side. So if this was on this side, I would keep this other edge on this side. Um, so this is not correct because this has to be flipped and looking exactly like this. So let me do that. So now it's flipped, and now they're both facing the same way, perpendicular to each other, or diagonal, however. So, um, what we want to do now is, we want to bring this top blue and yellow edge down and connect it with this bottom blue and yellow edge. And how you would use, instead of this garbage edge you would call you would bring this up put this garbage edge in you would bring it back like you usually would and just slice back and that connects all of the yellow edges and now we've all the yellow edges completed and now you would just solve it like a three by three to solve the four by four like a three by three you want to first, so basically think of these edge pairs, these two edges, as one single edge. So let me get a three by three. Here is a three by three. Wait, let me sit down. Um, here is a three by three. So you would think of this one white and red edge as these two white and red edges like this white and red edge pair or these two white and red edges as this one individual white and red edge on the three by three so and these corners will just be individual corners the centers you will not mess with them you will not slice like this through the middle layer because you can't do that on a three by three if you did want to slice you would slice both middle layers because you do not want to mess the center up with this center or this white center is just these four white center pieces equal this one white center on a three by three so basically as usual i'm going to be using cfop you guys can use beginner's method the only difference pretty much is um the second layer and the last layer but I'm gonna solve it like a with CFOP, and I can, and then I will also maybe in another video if you guys want, comment down below. If you guys want, I will solve it like a in Frederick method. I mean, not Frederick method, we're using the beginner's method. But for now, we're just going to use CFOP. Or you know what? Let's just use beginner's method because. I don't have any tutorials for CFOP, or I only have one tutorial for CFOP, so why don't we just use beginner's method? 
Uh, they're both the same. First, you would just do the cross. So, let me do that real quick. So, I know this isn't, I'm going a little fast, but if you guys um, comment down below if you want, or leave likes on this video if you want, I will um, go more in depth on how to solve it using 3x3 stage. Um, I might have another tutorial coming in the next few weeks, but I do have some ex and an exciting unboxing coming up. Hint. Um, but we have the cross done. Next, we're gonna do. Uh, let's just use beginner's method, second layer. So, uh, corner. This white, red, and green corner. Place it in. And then this uh, red and blue, white, red, and blue corner. Place it in. This white, green, and orange corner. Place it in. This orange and blue corner. Place it in. And then I must have accidentally pulled out this white red in. Now we have the first layer done. It's actually pretty simple. You'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. So think of this as just one edge like on the 3x3. Three three. So all we're gonna do is just place this in. A simple algorithm you should have learned from my tutorial yeah, on my channel. I'll have some links down below. So this is done. Then we will just place this pair it up and then place it in. Then this red and blue. Pair it up. Place it in. Then this blue and orange. Turn it away. Bring it back. Bring this down to pair it up and place it in. And now we have the first three layers done. Then you might run into what's called a parity. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if I have any, but I will put the algorithm down below for parity. All we, all you would do is just hold the paritied edge. Like a parity would be, um, where you have this whole edge like flipped around the wrong way uh, and like when you did the third layer algorithms you would have this whole thing flipped around and you would get something like a t or a plus sign without like let me see if i have a parity Doesn't look like I have a parody. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have a parody, so I'm just gonna do a soon to do OLO. Yeah, this is advanced, at least the third layer is, so if you're still using beginner's method, ignore this. But as you can see, it's now solved. Um, leave a like down below if you want, or leave a comment if you want. Uh, if you want me to uh, do some more advanced, I mean, or more uh, in-depth tutorials on like um, three by three stage, or you want me to do some more videos on three by three stage, beginners and CFOP, um, I will be coming out with more CFOP tutorials, don't worry guys. Um, I don't have a parody, but what you would do is you would just hold the parodied edge, or the flipped around edge pair, in the front, and you would just perform the algorithm. I'll put the algorithm down below.
and I might have a separate video in my other series called A Triple A D D or another algorithm another day. Um, it's just a new series I started up, so I might have the parity algorithm how to perform it in that series. But I guess that's it, guys, and I will see you all later. Bye.